A year later, and Wide Angle is back in Tehran for the presidential election. Sharg has survived, but the climate for reform is getting less hospitable. We join the presidential contest three days before the runoff between two of the eight candidates who contested the first round. The two who remain, former President Ali Akbar Hashemi Rafsanjani and Mahmoud Ahmadinejad, the mayor of Tehran. With a populist campaign, conservative Ahmadinejad has attracted increasing support among Iran's poor and the deprived. His message is simple, social justice, an end to corruption, and a return to the core values of the revolution. He points to his rival Hashemi as a symbol of Iran's problems. The main reformist candidate and Sharg's preferred choice, Mustafa Moin, came fifth and was eliminated in the first round. With no true reformist on the ballot and fearing what an Ahmadinejad presidency may mean for the country and in particular for the press, Sharg has decided it has no choice but to back Hashemi in the runoff. If Hashemi doesn't become president, newspapers like Sharg will be closed down. A former conservative now talking of reforms. Today, Hashemi has come to the University of Tehran, hoping to inherit the reformist's vote. The students' demands are much the same as Shard's. Look, the problem I see is that many are voting for Hashemi to avoid voting for the other guy. They're not really supporting Hashemi's policies. This doesn't build the country's future. Despite reservations, Sharg has decided to endorse Hashemi and put all its resources into backing his campaign. Tomorrow's edition is especially important. Because it's the last day on which Iranian newspapers can write about the candidates. After tomorrow, we can't. So turning itself into a war room for the Hashemi campaign, Sharg will be publishing a special edition. The paper has mobilized the intellectual elite of Iran in urging people to vote for Hashemi. From all walks of life, poets, writers, painters, journalists, translators, researchers, scholars, people of culture. Not everyone at Sharg is optimistic about Hashemi's chances. Very unlikely. Very unlikely Hashemi will get the votes. Because Mr. Hashemi is seen as the most hated political figure in Iran. Because of his extravagant lifestyle. Because he never supported anyone, even people who worked for him and paid the price. Achem Far, Sharg's policy chief, is also one of Hashemi's media campaign advisors. This dual role has raised questions about Sharg's supposed journalistic independence. Yes, this is a question. I don't recall at any time any article or any report being affected or an opinion imposed by my personal position, ever. Our newspaper has spent all it's got on Hashemi. <laughs> I'm against it, that our newspaper should sell out to one candidate. At an Ahmadinejad rally, the intellectuals' all-out support for Hashemi is coming under severe attack. 
Their endorsement of the formerly conservative cleric with a low approval rating is providing useful ammunition for the enemy. علت این که این روشن فکران ما و گروه های سیاسی ما مدام تغییر موزه می دهن وجود رابطه ایست به نام قدمت سرد Meanwhile, across town, Sharg has planned rallies to convert the undecided and bring the boycotters out to vote But Ahmadinejad supporters have shown up too What's interesting for me is how two candidates with no track record in reformist thinking in the Islamic Republic can create such hot debate and campaigning among the public. Late night activity at Sharg. They're planning the free distribution of their special election edition in the poor neighborhoods of South Tehran, where most Ahmadinejad supporters live. Our aim is to eliminate the false assumptions about Hashimi in the south of the city. They say he's not religious, he worships money, he's a thief, etc. Eliminate these ideas. Sharg has printed 400,000 copies of the special edition, four times the normal circulation. Ahmadinejad arrives to cast his vote. Catapulted from obscurity in the first round, he is now attracting global media attention. Throughout the campaign, he has been eager to demonstrate his common touch, his closeness to the people. Back at Sharg, spirits are sinking fast. Very bad. Very bad. I don't know, but I don't have a good feeling. آقای محمود احمدی نژاد با 14 میلیون و 456 هزار و 570 رای و آقای اکبر هاشمی بهرمانی با 8 میلیون و 266 هزار و 262 رای به ترتیب اکثریت آرا رو به دست آوردن احمدی نژاد is heading for a landslide victory شوکه شده I'm shocked I didn't think it would turn out this way, not this high. Our candidate was someone who, for the people, was the symbol of all our country's inadequacies. They thought our economic and political problems, corruption and dictatorial tendencies are all because of Hashimi. We reformists have made many big mistakes. Our mistakes are so wide and fundamental that perhaps after the elections it's time we took a comprehensive look at ourselves. But the most important point is that our knowledge of Iranian society is very superficial. Did Sharq make a mistake in backing Hashemi? No, we were right. Even if we had managed only one million votes, we did the right thing. With Sharg's professional approach, 
One day after his victory, Mr. Ahmadinejad has been given a full picture across four columns and his program and vision is stated. It is impossible to predict what an Ahmadinejad presidency will mean for Iran's battle over social and political reform. By taking sides in the election, Sharg placed a bet which failed to produce the result they wanted. Some believe major tactical errors were made and the soul searching has begun. But in their struggle for freedom of expression, Sharg and its young journalists will not be giving up easily. I don't believe you can turn the clock back. Reforms are like a marathon. Everyone is going forward. No one can stop it. Maybe they can slow it down, but not stop it. If anyone tries to get in our way, they'll fall and get trampled on. This movement is moving forward. It can't be stopped.